This is Dube No More, a main account that hasn't completed much in the world of Gilinor. He's still fresh off the Toro Island and has loads of adventures ahead of him. He has goals and achievements that he needs to complete to become a high level player. And on his journey, he's going to be your guide, a guide to becoming a better player without all the sweaty tick lord methods. So if you're ever lost in your journey with no idea where to go, you can look to this journey as a roadmap to accomplish your goals. With no restrictions and no worries in the world other than just plain RuneScape, how far can our adventure take us? If you didn't see the last episode, we completed a lot, and I'd highly recommend heading over and watching that episode before you sit down for this one. But hey, I totally get it. You might not have all day to kick back and enjoy my soothing voice while you skate, so I'll give you some of the highlights. First, I dive in some questions that you all had, mainly about how the hell I'm getting around Gilinor so quickly. I deep dive into exactly what I was doing, but the gist of it is player house hopping. I'd hop into other players' homes who had spent mills maxing it out. Then I can pretty much teleport anywhere in the game. It's amazing to do, and I highly recommend you all check it out. Next, we completed some huge quests for the account. These quests are relatively unknown by most players, but they unlock some massive items that we'll be using. We gained access to the Magic Sectars by completing Fairy Tale Part 1 and the Ectophile by finishing Ghost Hoy. These items are invaluable to us and we'll be making a large chunk of our GP with them. From those quests, we hopped over into different areas of Gilinor to complete some achievement diaries. These diaries rewarded us with XP and rewards, notably the Ardonge Cloak, which we'll be wearing on our backs for quite a while. With the diaries completed, we needed some GP. Our bank was looking pretty bare. So we spent a few hours making Guthix rest for some insane profit. We made around 2 million GP that we'll be investing into ourselves. And with the money we made, we invested it in getting a vital skill up. That skill was farming. We needed to get level 38 farming to unlock the ability to farm Toad Flax herbs. And with that unlocked, we pretty much have a self-sustaining account. Our main method of making money from here on out will be farming. Not to say we won't have any GP grinds ahead of us, but that'll be far, far in the future. For now, we have some more quests to do and a juicy unlock coming in this episode. This unlock completely changes the way you play the game and is arguably one of the most important sets in all of old school RuneScape. So without further ado, let's start making some progress. Now I had some complaints about these videos taking so long to come out, and hey, I hear you, I'm a dirty slut for binging some Netflix series myself, and three weeks is a pretty long time between episodes. You can totally lose track of where the progress is going, and if you're following along, you might be grinding so much that you fly past where I left off. So to fix this, I'll be streaming almost all of the account's progress over on twitch.tv forward slash Darnick. Hop in and get a sneak peek of the upcoming episode. Boys, we are back. I'm ready to, to keep questing. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere, Relica hidden away in the world, and we need to do some quests. These quests are pretty much just helping the dwarves out. Now, we're going to finish it, but there's not really any other quests down here. But this does unlock something huge for us, which is the good old Blast Furnace. So, let's turn on the good old Optimal Quest Guide and start doing this quest. This one's actually pretty long. So it's going to be pretty juicy, deliver a whole bunch of stuff around. But anyways, let's get to it. Oh yeah, brother, we'll start your quest. Let's adventure across. This cutscene is super duper long. Essentially what happens is we're entering Keldegrim, right? The grand capital of the Dwarven realm. And uh, as you guys are going to see, we're going to fuck them up. Wow, what a nice statue. It would be a shame if somebody, you know ran into it and busted it oh of course something's going wrong and boom and we completely destroyed the statue so we're gonna have to fix that get it back into working order oh yeah and uh <laughs> we're going to jail not my first time especially not by some midgets all right there we go we meet again brother i need you to repair this axe i love how this guy he does whatever you want him to do as long as you bring him a red berry pie. He's pretty much like a crackhead, except the crack is the red berries. Love that we can bribe him with just some good old pie, and he's going to repair our ancient axe. I feel like they could do so much more. Like, he could teach us smithing. Like, you know, smithing fucking blows, because at 99, you can, you know, make some rune armor. Oh, dope, right? I feel like they could unlock it and branch it out so much more by adding, like, some weird things like 80 or 75 plus to add 
something onto your armor to do something, you know, maybe just some slight defense increases on. So like barrows or bandos or Torva, just something, man. I feel like Smithy needs a complete rework. It's the one skill that honestly doesn't make any sense at all. So we're gonna have him remake it. And then we got to go argue back and forth with some of the, the rich boys up there. Boom. There we go. Finally, it's all over. The giant dwarf is completed Two quest points. And you all would hate me if I read all that out, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of XP we got. Let's see if we get any level ups from that. Boom, 37 smithing. Boom, 40 crafting. Boom, 38 magic and 41 thieving. Anything else? 20. Yeah, dude, there. that's a lot of level ups. That's awesome to see. Completed. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the forgettable tale. Just more questing over here. This one is a little bit longer just because we got to wait on the patches to grow. But then after this, we can start making our own beer. So, uh, you know, that's a thing. But let's uh, go buy the items. All right, back into the questing grind. We are doing a forgettable tale. Noob no more, have you heard? You mean half the world has suddenly become a farmer? No, no, not that. It's the Red Axe. Yeah, so I'm not going to voice all this. We're going to play through it. This one's a pretty... uh relaxed one i guess it's it, like we have to wait like 30 minutes to finish it in the meantime we're probably gonna go do a farm run but we pretty much are gonna make our own beer which is pretty legit um we just need a whole bunch of stuff gotta pay off some dwarves you know the typical good stuff but the quest is a little long so it's gonna take a little bit most of the quests that we're getting into now are pretty pretty lengthy none of them are just you know quick bang outs one two three they're all relatively long so we got a long 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 grind ahead of us and uh just gonna bang them out. Quest upper plugin is the goat. All right, this this dude wants a random item, and for me, it's an anchovy pizza. I'm assuming it can literally be whatever you know. It's just a random fucking item. But something cool is we can actually just travel to the GE. I'm gonna go straight over to the GE by ourselves and anchovy pizza, and continue on with the quest. All right, we got our anchovy pizza for this rowdy dwarf. We deliver it to him, rowdy little midget boy. So now we're going to plant our seeds and wait a very long time. It's uh, about 20 minutes, so we uh, can't actually go do a farm run. So we're going to go get some coffee and be right back. All right, boys, our beer is done fermenting. So now we're going to get our juicy little beer glass in here. Let's get our stout and voila a keldon stout we also kind of unlock the ability to make you know dwarven stouts but i don't really think it's that good i'm personally never gonna be doing it. i know some people do it it's like a few hundred k um for like three days or something if you're really into that but we're not gonna do that because it's not really worth my time we're just gonna keep on trucking bang out this quest and go do some more farming all right boys i forgot how awful this puzzle is but thank god for the runelight plugin this makes it so easy you just click the boxes man a, a fucking monkey could do it just look at this look how easy that is okay hop in the car it's sure thing Easy peasy. All right, boys, we just need to eat a nice little kebab and we should be done. I think maybe we got to share a drink with the Dwunkin Dwarf. Yeah, we're going to get fucked up and have a good time with these midget boys. And that is the end of the quest. Perfect. There we go. You have completed Forgettable Tale. 5,000 farming XP, 5,000 cooking XP, and two mature dwarven stouts which you can actually sell for a pretty penny last time i looked they were like what 25k each what are they going for now 35k huge there we go so there's 70k in the bank if y'all are hurting for money there's your nice little income but we're gonna go bang out a farm run and uh keep questing boom fellas there we go 65 farming now this is this is a huge level for one major reason we can now access, there we go, it's gonna tell us, we can now access the Farming Guild, the mid-tier, and Hispori. The mid-tier, if you didn't know, has another tree patch and also has another herb patch, which is gonna give us even more money every time we do a run. All right, boys, this, uh, this camera view is pretty sick. Like, almost first person, not exactly first. Ooh, hit points level. Exactly first person, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty sick. I, I've always been under the impression I'm a big, you know, Skyrim boy. I'm a big Elder Scrolls fan. First person, especially in RuneScape, would probably be pretty dope. Now, <laughs> with the graphics, I don't know how to actually be possible, but always something I've thought about. Like, would it be possible for RuneLine to make a plugin to make this game, you know, first person? That'd be pretty sick. But anyways, we're going to go save Xanic. I fucking hate hide and seek quests. This and the Monkey Madness 2 boat scene dock thingy majigger where you have to hide is the fucking 
worst. And, and what's really happening here is I stood there for five fucking minutes last time just hiding. This dude never he never walked away. So I, I'm I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to hide here for another five minutes. And if I don't figure it out, then uh, we're going to go watch Slayer Music's guide on this because I'm just not sure. And I'm not trying to spend my whole day hiding behind a crate. They almost actually, I don't even think they can kill them. They, they just sit there on one HP. So uh, not maybe let, let's actually, let's just, cause I'm, I'm not going to fucking sit here again. If I run behind here, what happens? This dude walks over. Is, is he going to like see the goblins? No, he's, he's going to come after me, isn't he? And then he's going to yell intruder and I'm going to get kicked the fuck out. Oh, uh, well, boys, that that's how you do it. You just fucking play the game. <laughs> fucking wreck this guy real quick. Um, he's, he's actually a pretty high level. But we're going to smite him and easy peasy because then we just chuck our prayer on and we relax. Boom. There we go. Another slice of ham is completed. 3,000 mining, 3,000 prayer in access to the ancient mace has been unlocked. Not really ever going to be using this. I think the only thing this is actually useful for is uh, P-Gain. And I don't think we're going to be doing much of that on this account. But anyways, we're going to go on to the next quest, which is fucking rat catchers, which is be a fun time fellows this has been the worst experience ever it is um absolutely awful this is the first checkpoint there's there's this checkpoint and then you have to go through here and do everything else but boys watch slayer music's guide on this because this is absolutely awful now we have to go in here and catch the rats you have to log out to make sure they're on the right path it is absolute aids so um we're going to spend another hour probably doing this, but essentially it's it's just hide and seek from these motherfuckers and uh, we're going to catch some rats. So. All right, boys, so this is the one instance when you can actually run through. So now if they're not set up in this order, which took about four minutes of sitting there waiting, then, then you can't actually run in here and catch anything. But we just got to catch these, go downstairs, catch one more, and we will be done almost over. It, it didn't take that long. I mean, probably like 20 minutes, but... um. Make sure our kitty cat is over here and uh, spend five minutes catching some fucking rats. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to head all the way to Polynovich, Poly, Polyvich, Polyvich, man. What the fuck? <sighs> do, 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 do. It's my melody for uh, catching the rats. <laughs> so we're playing a flute. This is almost done. We're, we're so close. I can taste it. I can taste the reward of getting a Waldy cat, which is going to be super helpful on our journey because we're going to be spicing the fuck up, uh, which means we're going to catch a lot of rats in our day. So we're almost finished, almost done. Boom. Rat catchers is finished. 4,500 thieving XP and access to the rats pit. That quest took forever, forever. Hoggers indeed. So I don't actually believe, oh, so I have to let my cat turn into a fat ass. So that's perfect. We'll just let it chill and, uh, Grats, fuck that damn quest. Amen, brother. We're gonna let our cat get nice and chonky, bring him back and um, drop him off for some training. But now, now we are back to doing more annoying ass quest, but I'm gonna do a farm run in the meantime. Boys, this is a huge moment for us. This is our first steps into the west side of the farming guild and we can finally Put a herb seed into the herb patch. It's one more patch, a little bit more money. You know what I'm saying? We also have trees that we can do, but for a long time now, uh, we don't need to level farming. It's at 65. Honestly, I don't even know the highest level it needs to be at for the max quest. Probably not higher than 75. So by the time we finish all the quests, we'll definitely have 75 just from doing herb runs anyways. So I'm not even bothered, but this is absolutely huge and beautiful. I love the farming guild. Love the aesthetic. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful piece of work. The trees are beautiful. It's just great. Love the farming guild. Wish they'd have more guilds for more things. I personally would love for a slayer guild or an agility guild. <laughs> like technically we have a rune crafting guild now. Um, kind of, sorta, I, I have like a feeling the wizard's guild is going to end up being like a rune crafting guild, but anyways, they need more guilds because guilds are fucking awesome. As you guys can tell, I love guilds. We love guilds over here, boys. Start the troll stronghold quest. Of course, I'm going to take on some big fat trolls. Me and my mustache. We're going to go 
fuck them up. Follow the path. Look at these boys training. Like, they've been here training for ages. I mean, 15 years at this point. They should be able to take on Zuck absolutely no problem. They should be of the highest order. Just look at them do their moves. And these these steel claws, the kicks, boys are getting it. Getting it. Anyways, let's uh, go finish this quest. And we're trekking in the mountains. Oh, we are really going to be trekking, huh? Good thing I got my trusty climbing boots. Once we finish this, I'm pretty sure we're able to go to God Wars Dungeon, right? Obviously, we're not because it's our stats are absolutely awful but hey it does kind of open up the door eventually down the road dangerous ah we don't care about danger we are an adventurer we are the chosen hero oh maybe not is that okay it doesn't lower agility. it says recommended is 47 agility i i wonder why that is we bought brought these just in case it's like the reasoning for that is so we don't fail a whole bunch I think we should be perfectly fine though. Oh yeah, we're easy peasy. What's up, dad? Is his name dad? Because trolls, they like eat, whatever they eat, the first thing they eat, that's what they're named, right? But uh, not too hard. We're just gonna sit back, chill. I brought a bunch of casts. We're gonna continue watching some YouTube videos and we'll be back when this fat boy's dead. And boom, we won. We uh, don't have to kill him. I think we, you have the option to, but we're not because why would you kill your dad? He's a, he's a cutie anyways. We'll leave him alone. We're gonna run straight past him. And continue north. On to rest. There's not much to do. Really, the whole point is just you need to run through here, not die from these mountain trolls, and uh, free some prisoners. So that, that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, we got prayer. The gods protect us. Boys, this right here is why we got our prayer so early. So many of these quests are just completely null and void. Like, what danger? We just pray to the gods, and we are good to go. No worries in the world. Yo, these are actually some big spooky boys. Look at that dude's sword. Like, that is fucking awesome. They said we need to kill him. Is it because we can safe spot him easily? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> He's a big... Oh my god! What? <sighs> so as we're doing the long quest back from getting fucking one tapped by that general uh I want y'all to know i lost my kitten lost my kitty cat and uh, we got to get a fat one all over again he was so close to being fat no the timer was a little off he had like an hour left and he was going to be a big fat boy now we got to raise one get it back to a cat and uh get it nice and juicy and fat so just a word to the wise while we run back through here don't <laughs> don't do dangerous stuff with your cat out i forgot if you have a follower it, it completely just runs off if you die so uh yeah avoid my mistakes this is why you all are watching this to learn from my idiotic mistakes so you all don't make the same one all right we uh got our stuff and we're ready to take them on while using some prayer this time hopefully i have enough prayer pots i don't think there's actually like a good spot to safe spot him at all because he obviously can run out of the room maybe over here i'm not the best with safe spotty i don't know why but for whatever reason that's gonna do it isn't it never mind i was gonna say that but i'm actually great at safe spotting so let's uh let's take this big boy out beautiful we are done killed him i didn't know the trolls had like their own unique bones that's pretty cool but we also got the prison key so now we can go free some prisoners and we'll run around over here gpu mode is just so sick with how far you can zoom out why doesn't he attack me though you know why why do, why do the other ones but not him i feel like he would be the one to attack all right did we find his friend let's see beautiful troll stronghold is completed we get one quest point in a a little law talisman but we can now craft all runes once we get our rune crafting way up but it's actually huge for guardians of the rift because law runes obviously give us more points so it'll be awesome when we get there but that is a long long way away but now we can do more quest in the troll area all right fellas we're ready to do some troll romance help some trolls fall in love ug is the man he's the bachelor that we need to find him a beautiful woman for look at those those tusks, the upside down tusk and the couple strands of hair looking like a beautiful troll. Start troll romance. Yes, of course. Of course we want to start it. The space bar all the way through. We need to go talk to Aga. Now, those are some big fucking hammers and bones these people have. Now, just knowing troll lore, now they're supposed to get their name right from eating the first thing. The first thing they eat is, is how they get the name. So, how did you get Aga? Is there something named a guy? <laughs> I love the hair on this beautiful troll. Does she have lipstick too? Oh, she's fucking gorgeous. Obviously, we don't need to keep our prayer on, but it's whatever. And I'm going to go back to Tingzing. I'm pretty sure we have to kill Arg. He looks uh, mighty funky. Look at that. Got a little battle wounds, big old hammer. We're going to take him out here in a bit, but we got to go back to Birth Rope and uh, talk to Tingzing. 
All right, Ting Zing, tell us where we can find the Tuo Weiss. It's only impossible if you put your mind to it. I love my character. He speaks from the heart. Okay, go on. A sled, of course. Let's make a sled. Yeah, let's wax our sled. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of being a child, waxing my sled. All right, boys. Time we've been waiting for. It's time to ride down the slope. Here we go. That was fucking awesome. There's someone else's sled here. Who who would have left their sled? What what evil person? We're taking your fucking sled. Whoever left their extra sled. What an idiot. Let's get our rare flower and go back and help seduce the, the woman with the lipstick. The troll. Um, can we keep sledding? Can we? Can we? Oh, we can. We can. We can. Yes. Are we gonna go for the jump? Oh fuck, yeah we are. Holy shit, that's awesome. That's really cool. Anyways, let's uh let's go seduce the the pretty woman. All right, buddy, we got your flower and uh now let's go get your girl. Yeah, we get we're gonna go kill Arg. Absolutely no problem. Let's just uh protect from these bad boys. Yeah, that's a huge bone. This big grumpy fella, we're stealing your woman. What? <laughs> what? Like, why do you want? Let's take it outside, of course. And uh Oh, what the fuck? Hold 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 up. Did he just hit me through prayer? What the fuck was that? Um, we we need to holy shit, we need to recalculate what we're doing. All right, boys, we're prepared and we're ready for round two two with arg um i'm not gotta go i gotta kill you my friend i think we got i think we're well prepared this time so technically i think he can one tap me but apparently there's a nice little little safe spot up here but we have to kill him in time oh my god he can still hit me like a fucking truck so if we do this and beautiful thanks dad dad's always there for me and we got about two minutes before he despawns should be more than enough time to kill him just keep your health high if you're doing this with me because he can use range every now and again it's kind of random yeah this is going to be it we'll come back whenever he's dead and boom Arg is done, and now we can go back and claim the love between these two. So um, that should be the last little bit. I <laughs> a little overprepared. So if you're doing this, you know, bring a couple shark, maybe one prayer pot, and you should be more than fine. All right. Why? Why, why is he crying? Is, is that how he was when we walked up? Like, buddy, relax. You're about to be in love. You're you're too scared. All right, it's too, okay, I guess he, he did it anyways, or whatever. We got our troll romance complete, 8,000 agility XP, which is huge, 4,000 strength XP. This is going to get us a bunch of juicy levels, 41 agility. We also got 42 strength. The awesome thing about this agility is now we can go do the Canifus rooftop course. Now, if you don't know anything about the Canifus rooftop course, it gives the highest rate of marks of grace. So essentially we're going to be banging that all the way out until we get our juicy graceful. Now, if you guys don't know about graceful, well, let me break it down for you. If you're brand spanking new to old school RuneScape, you probably have noticed that getting around Gilenor is pretty rough. If you try to run everywhere, well, that's not going to last too long, even with a pretty high agility level. And if you have anything at all in your inventory, you're going to be chugging stamina potions like a crackhead looking for a hit. So, how can we run for longer and carry more items with us? The answer is the graceful set. If you look around the GE or really any activity that requires you to be in motion, you'll see players wearing the set, and for a very good reason. With the full Full set equipped, you'll have a 30% run energy restoration bonus and it reduces your weight by 25 kilograms. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Now, you'd think this set is super expensive with how useful it is, and it is pretty expensive in terms of how much time we're going to be spending getting it because it's an untradeable and we'll have to earn it ourselves. So for this grind, we'll be stuck climbing rooftops and hopping over obstacles to obtain 260 Marks of Grace. Marks of Grace are these little tokens that say, hey, congrats, you ran around this rooftop course, you get yourself something nice. And with the Cannabis Rooftop Course unlocked, we can get around 18 Marks of Grace per hour. So we have a pretty long grind ahead of us. 
if my math is right, we got about 15 hours. Now I will say this is not a necessary grind. You can just keep questing. I personally just love how useful the set is and it saves an ass load of time and money spent on staminas. So we're gonna be doing this over a few days and while we do it, we're gonna be farming some herbs. So if you guys are following along and you do not wanna do this grind, that is perfectly fine. Skip over it and do it whenever you like because that's how great RuneScape is. You can do whatever the fuck you want when you want. But if you are doing this grind, I highly recommend you not to do it all at once. Do a few hours per day and spread it over a week or so. It makes these very long grinds so much better. Okay, what is this questionnaire? This is, uh, <laughs> are you enjoying your experience of farming? It's absolutely unquestionably the most interesting thing I've ever done. The dwarf asks you to put on a silly golden helmet so that you can be fired from a cannon into a wall. What do you do? I put the silly helmet and jump into the cannon, of course. You meet PK Master 0036 in the wilderness who asks you who is the greatest player killer in the world. How do you answer? I am. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking goofy. Queen Ella Maria orders you to go on a foolish quest without any offer of reward. What do you do? I'll do it. Adrian or Vanguard asks you, have you ever seen suspicious characters lately? Can you fail this or is it just like random, right? I'm going to say uh, no. Hmm, it was close, but congratulations. Sweet. So now I have it enhanced. Thank you. All right, perfect. So now we can go get all the seeds that we need to plant and then wait five hours for everything to grow. So let's uh, get our seeds. Let you see for yourself, ma'am. I have trekked all over Gilinor, planted so many different plants and trees and patches. I need my fucking reward. <sighs> now we go talk to the king, of course. Of course, the king is gonna give me the reward, not this slimy ass bitch. Makes me go all over Gilinor, ridiculous. King Ronald, my man, give me my reward. Greetings, please. Oh, of course, yeah, you're not gonna follow me. All right, yeah, what have you been up to? Just completely rearranging your guardian, spending his money. This dude's a negative Nancy. I'm just gonna be 100% honest, brother. Your garden looks amazing. It took me forever, and um, you're awful. Give me my rewards so I can get the fuck out of here. Oh, <laughs> fucking open hand. Open hand. I, I actually, I like her. I like her some more now. We know who the real king is. This woman is running the kingdom. What a simp. What a fucking simp. Yeah, she's ruling it all. Damn, that is a real queen. Beautiful. Boom. We've completed a garden of tranquility quest. Two quest points. 5,000 farming XP. The ring of Karos and a super compost potion and some fucking shit seeds. Don't need any of that, but this is just another quest. It's going to get us two more quests. going to drop all this good stuff and um, go on to the next quest. And we just need two more. Just just two more. It was actually a cool like idea when it first came out. Cause if y'all didn't know, if, if y'all did not play before rooftops, like agility's slow and it's 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 a grind right now. But back then, before rooftops, man, agility was the worst skill by far. I don't give a fuck what you say. Runecrafting was not even close. Mining was was up there because you, you could pretty much do power mining or, or granite. Those were your two options, but wilderness and like Dorgish Khan all the way to 99, fuck that. Rooftops have been a blessing. I know <laughs> rooftops still only max out like 55K, but it, but they're okay. They're super chill, to be honest. I mean, nine times out of 10, man, I got my second monitor popping with a movie or an anime just blasting and I'm, I'm not even paying attention at all. All right, we got one more and then we can go get our set of graceful and get back to quests and the quests have, uh, they've came along. They have been coming along. We're up to what? 156 quest points. And I have so many people ask me like, oh, did you already have barrels gloves? Like, no, I'm going to be honest with all you all <laughs> that are watching. And you know, I, I typically set big goals on like items to get, you know, like dragon scimitar is huge, right? Barrels gloves, huge, right? Well, the optimal quest guy doesn't, <laughs> does not think that way. It wants to get you up in kind of the quickest way possible, but also with minimal amount of skilling. So obviously I'm skilling now. This is like something you do not have to do. If you all are like watching this and you also have like a low level count, don't spend 20 hours doing rooftops. I personally just love having graceful on for the region effect. And I'm gonna need it later on for some grinds anyway. So I was like, man, this is like the perfect time. We finished a quest, got 41. That That's essentially why I'm here doing this 20 hour grind. So, oh, we just hit it. We just hit it, boys. We can fucking get out of here and go to birth orb. But this is all of the herbs we farmed the whole time we've been doing agility. It's, I mean, it's been pretty easy, man. With like rune light has this tracker off to the side. You always guys can obviously can't see it, but it just tells me like right now 
it's 413. My plants are going to be done at 454. So I know if by 454, I need to go ahead and go do a fucking herb run. It's super easy. Um, and honestly kind of breaks up the monotony of doing agility all day. Like who wants to do agility all day nonstop? You're fucking psycho if you, if you want to, but anyways, let's, um, I'm gonna start with the boots. God, don't misclick. <laughs> This would be an awful time to misclick. Boom. There we go. Graceful has been acquired. That is fucking beautiful. Obviously, the cream color graceful is ugly, but man, that is that's a huge thing. This is, you know, nerds walk around in this all day. This is the set of the skillers, is they call it. We're gonna, you know, obviously we're gonna keep going back and doing agility later on in the progress of the account. It's not needed now, but later on we're gonna be doing it and uh, we'll probably recolor it. I have white on the main, but like that's so basic. I don't even know what to get past that. But how much money have we actually made doing these herb runs? About 20 hours of farming, roughly three mil. We probably spent, we probably made like 1.5 mil. Not bad. Not bad for like not even really doing any money making. Banks looking ugly as fuck, but, but we're at almost five mil, which is huge. Boys, now we can go do enlightened journey. So this is the beautiful thing. If you all have not quested with the quest helper plugin, it's beautiful for a lot of reasons, but, but this is probably my favorite. Listen, back in the day when I was doing quests, you had like Rune HQ open or the wiki or whatever, you have to get all the items, right? I cannot tell you how many times I forgot one or two items in the middle of the quest and you have to go just start all the way over. And um, it's a fucking pitch if you all have not been there. So what this does is, I mean, as you all can see, it tells you exactly how many you need what you need and why you need it. So when we start flying, we're gonna need that right there. What I do though is, if you guys haven't watched my video, I use World 330. You can use pretty much max houses of other players. It's it's absolutely busted. So I just do this. I'll just take 10 teleport to houses, a stamina, and that's all you need to travel all the way around. Gilinor, y'all, you'll see it here in a minute. Uh, bank all weapons and armor and go to Port Serum. I'm assuming this is not considered armor, right? It, it's probably gonna be considered armor. But th so th uh, if y'all were just paying attention, this is what I do. You teleport outside, you hop into someone's house, work list, shout out to this motherfucker. I've never talked to him, I don't know him. This person has helped so much workless. This dude is the goat. He's here like 20 hours out of the day. Just she actually it looks like a female character, but you know, you never know. They just uh, they they just chill here all day long. They let people use their house, run through their house, use their portals. They keep this shit lit. Pretty awesome. Props to them. All right. Greetings. Would you like to be my number one accomplice? I mean, uh, assistant. Be an accomplice. Hell yeah, man. Oh, shit. Destroy the floating thing. Okay. We made a new RSS following along with the series, been a fun little grind. Quest Helper plugin makes the game so much more manageable. You are so right, dude. I I hate quests. And like I was saying earlier, Quest Helper plugin fucking changes the game. Like it even highlights the words you have to pick. Who came up with this? I'd love it. It's just, it's it's just awesome. Yeah, if any of you guys have actually made a new account and want to hop in the clan, man, you're more than welcome. We have actually a, a, quite a few people which I'm, I'm super hyped to see. I think a lot of people um, kind of like the, the idea of starting brand new and just banging out the game, you know? Cause a lot of people get stuck, you know? Like, man, when you get to that mid game, like even getting this graceful set, that's a 20 hour grind. You know, I banged it all out at once, but you don't have to do that. You can obviously do different things, but a lot of people get lost along the way of while they're playing the game. It's just, there's just so much to do and there's no like instruction. You know, like in most games, like you gotta kill this boss to get this item, to kill this boss, to do this, 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 this. RuneScape, it's like, go, go fucking do whatever you wanna do, which which is a great thing, but it's also, it's kinda hard for a lot of people to, to really kinda set their goals. So, which logs do you wanna use first? Um, ones in my inventory? What, what do you mean? Okay, just relax, go forward. I gotta, I gotta concentrate for this one. I think it's the third one that always fucks me up. The first two are all right. Uh, okay. How the fuck did that work? We're golden, right? We're golden. Perfect. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Boom. That is the enlightened journey completed. 4,000 farming and XP, 3,000 farming, 2,000. That's a lot of XP and a lot of stuff. That's awesome. Many level ups from that. 41 crafting. Yeah. Ooh, 25 fire making. Huge. Anything else? Nah, nothing really. That wasn't too bad. We did get this fucking sick fashion scape though. Look at me. We and the stash brings it all together. 12 hunter. It's just birds, right? The little, these little copper wagtails. Yeah. We need to go get some of those. Since you look massive, Jim question, what's a good alternative to barbell rose? Chest supported uh, T bar row. Um, barbell rows are, I don't do them actually. I do machine hammer rows. So, so essentially, me imagine imagine obviously it's the one where you, you put it up here i put it a little low so it, it would be like right here this would be the top of it you extend your arm you have your arm completely straight and you pull with your elbow back towards your, your hip it's a little weird 
once you get used to it, it, it hits your lats and a little bit of your rhomboid, but not a lot, completely ignores your upper back. But I, I hate T-bar rows because I had a lower back injury, deadlifting a long time ago. So anything that like puts too much strain on my lower back, I don't do it all. Uh, oh, fuck yeah, we got the last one. <laughs> That's what I'd recommend, man. I also, I've done supported T-bar rows. I love those too. My current, I don't have my fucking book next to me. I would show you guys my current um, back workouts, pretty much all lat focused right now. Cause I'm trying to get my, I do bodybuilding, if you guys didn't know. I try to get my my width going up. So I need to obviously have more of like that T look, which the lats create that. So that's kind of been the goal I've been working on here recently. Um, yeah, you just can't, yeah, you can't with the, the barbell on the rows. It's tough, man. And I'm relatively oh, strong. Yeah. I would like to say on a lot of lifts, but barbell rows, I can never really get over two plates. So you ever going to PK on this account? It'd be interesting to see how one goes about it with a new main. <sighs> man, I'm going to be honest. My PK experience is like 2012 with the whip and HS. I've always wanted to get into PK and that, that might be something I do in the future. Be like make a new, a pure account, get into PK like, you know, obviously I'm a I'm pretty much a noob with PK, but try to try to learn how to PK. That would be awesome. Um, as of now with this account, probably not because this one, I just want to get it to the end game as fast as possible. The real big thing with this one is I don't want any crazy luck involved. So like, you know, a lot, of, a lot of YouTubers have gone to chambers or gone to COB or gone really any boss where you can just get super lucky and get all the gold you need and you just buy all the shit and, and you're done. I don't really want to do that. Um, I want to kind of show you guys like literally how you can do it. So like if part of me wants to just grind Vorkath later on for like the hundred hours, which that would suck and it's not interesting. And obviously you guys aren't going to see all hundred hours, but you'll kind of see that, you know, you will need to grind a boss to make money. And it's not going to be just about getting lucky because you could get lucky. You could kill Corp once, get an Ellie and you know, you got all the money you need to max. How do you have an inventory like black that looks sick? Let's see here. If y'all have rune light, it's in the plugin hub. It's called resource packs hub. And inside of it, it has a whole bunch of different options to reskin your inventory. I do like the brown, but I feel like the black just looks so much more slick. I'm team dark mode on any website I'm ever on. Um, words to the wise, don't learn to PK on a pure. It can be very demotivating when you get combo 10 times in a row. Yeah, that's true. But the reason I would want to start with the pure is so you could like, obviously you get done, you know, you do all the pure PK and you want go to like a berserker, then go to like a 70, then, then go on from there. I'm super interested in PK. I'm just really bad at PK, so I wouldn't make videos on it because y'all would just see me getting killed over and over again while I spend millions trying to learn you know stand on the white squares oh, this is right we have to go search through all of these don't we so if you guys have never done this before what this essentially is is we need to get archaeus favor we need to get 20% from the next quest easy way to do that is to get these little books these books also give you rewards homes that you can use on room crafting which we'll need for 10 room crafting so it's pretty much killing two birds with one stone but to get started you have to find one book first and uh what we're doing here finding that one book we should probably bring some stands we're gonna do a farm run here in a second i'll show you guys how we do our farm run uh, but i want to find this one book first and then we'll go start our farming and so he needs that pink book right what, what book did he say the treacherous and then it should tell me right south yeah then the plugin says southwest over here there we go easy peasy right well guardian rich now i wish i would have waited yeah i mean that's the thing though with runescape like we always know there's going to be updates are going to change things right i mean because like on my main account i have like 96 Smithing, you know, I'm waiting until the new smithing update, you know, to bang it out. But really, should I? Should I just not just do it? You know, with runecrafting, though, it's kind of a different animal because runecrafting before 77 is pretty brutal for most people. Nice. The rocks, brother. Looking, looking chattish. Nice, nice. I came back to the game like a week ago. Welcome back, man. I, I love to hear that. I've seen so many people here recently. They're like, yeah, I came back to the game. Start grinding again. Welcome back, dude. If, if you ever need any help, we have a clan chat. More than welcome to answer any questions. I've been playing this game for so long i'm like a encyclopedia for, for most things i love to see that I, I try to get people into runescape a lot of people see the graphics and they're like oh no or they hear the grind like oh no i can't play that game it's stupid like my, my girl for example she's like it's just a clicking game like why do you play the clicking game all day it's like well you know most stuff in runescape you can do while doing other things like honestly if i was streaming right now i could just have anime open kick back relax watching it or i could be working Playing at the same time. It's just the, it's the game that I find like you can progress the game and then progress yourself at the same time, you know? Which I think is awesome. Click, 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 click. <laughs> that's that's the fucking game, man. Just click all day. She liked wow. She thought it was cool with casting spells and shit. RuneScape, she's like, you just click. Have you been playing this for 15 years? Your account's not the best if you're lost again. So fun time. Well, where are you at, man? If you uh if you need help setting goals, that's pretty much what RuneScape is, man. You set a goal to achieve your goal. 
this to, to go set another goal. That, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing the whole time. At the moment, you're doing Shiloh Village working on Barrow's Gloves. Hey man, then you're on the right track. If you haven't already checked out the Optimal Quest Guide, you can kind of lay out. If you're already like, you know, like in a weird spot, just try to do like the quest that it recommends that like start from the very top, obviously. Check off any of the ones you've done and then just work down. Now, Barrow's Gloves are, excuse me, on like the bottom of that list. So that's a little, a little weird. You know, you don't get Barrow's Gloves. You don't have Quest Capes. So if you want to just straight bang out Barrow's Gloves, then do that. Um, once you get Barrow's Gloves, then find a consistent moneymaker. That's pretty huge because, you know, um, RuneScape's all about making money and spending money and <laughs> buying gear and killing shit and doing you know cool shit but all of it requires requires money so find a good money maker that you enjoy you enjoy is, is always key that i tell people because if you if you hate doing something every day man you're not going to do it you know uh, find something you enjoy doing and uh grind it out if you if something you enjoy only makes you a million hour fuck it, do it because you need to grind it out you set a big goal to make smaller goals to make even smaller goals to reach that goal that is that's runescape but i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest and i think i learned this from runescape that's 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 real life too because if you want anything right you want to get a high paying job right let's this is how i equate shit this is i'm probably crazy for doing this but i equate to having a nice high paying job as killing Vorkath, right? Uh, making like six figures, right? That's killing Vorkath in real life. To get that real life job, you have requirements. You have to have a degree, which could be could, could be the quest, could be Dragon Slayer too, right? And and you just have all these requirements that are that are all kind of small, but they all build up to have that nice job. So just like RuneScape, you have to have all these quests, these skills. Same thing applies to the job. Get all these quests and these skills done. Um, probably I'm a fucking psycho for thinking that way, but that's how I see things. And so like in real life, I think I learned this from RuneScape as a young child, <laughs> that you need to set goals to achieve bigger goals. Like your smaller goals you set to achieve bigger goals. But we already have it. Perfect. That's that's it. We're done. 36 XP each. That's that's brutal. Shoot this level, right? There we go. There's 10. Now we can go do Temple of the Eye. Boom, 10 at runecrafting. Yeah, RuneScape plays in real life so well. The GE taught me how to read data analytics which transferred an overall start that's that's sick i've always wanted to do that when i was a young kid i, I thought i was so smart because i made one one good merch one time and then i thought like oh, i could be a stock manipulator uh never happened but i actually have heard of people playing like going off the runescape stock market and then going into the real life stock market which is i mean go ahead and talk to her hello hello so what are you doing in al -Karid? why shouldn't you be in al -Karid? i love her her spunk there's like a theory going around that she's not actually a wizard, that she's a uh, Majra, which would be sick. That would be, I'm, I'm big into the RuneScape 3 lore. I was back when I was playing RS3, lore sucked me in. And um, I was huge into Majra for a long time. I thought it was so cool, like their whole origin story and stuff, super dope. How do you word the Majra? They're like super powerful beings who aren't gods, but they're almost godlike, but they need more energy to get godlike. But they have a ritual every like thousand years. Anyways, that was all super cool. They were like the main villains for a long time in RuneScape. But yeah, that, that the lore is super crazy now. Like there's the elder gods who were trying to kill and drain their energy. So we need to go to Varrock. It's essentially the other people found out about the Abyss, the Order of Wizards. Um, Where did you get the amulet from the girl? Bought it from Ark. Oh, so we're being a little shady in line too. Wrong cup of tea. So let's go get him a cup of tea from Herbert. Apparently they're good friends. <laughs> let's get through here while we need the bucket of water. Oh, we gotta throw it on that guy, right? Teleport to the abyss. Uh, okay, so now we need to talk to him. Hello. This guy's always kind of crazy to me, right? Like his whole lore is if he does not concentrate and keep the abyss going, the whole world explodes, right? What the actual fuck? He wanted to say it. He wanted to say it. All right, this one actually shouldn't take me too long, right? <laughs> Let's say that, and then it's gonna take forever. Okay, we gotta find the one that turns off when we touch it, and that's number one. There we go. So you're number one. Would you like to be number two? Oh, thank you. Number three. Can we get it all at once? No. Okay. So one, two, and then maybe you're three. No. Okay. Come on. Three, 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 three. No. Okay. So the blue is three. It's just like uh, what's that one game that one used to play? Like where you would tap it. And then it increasingly gets faster and you have to remember it all. Okay, so one, two, three, four. We're gonna get it, this is gonna finish it off? Of course not, of course, why not? One, two, three, and then you're gonna be four and then five. Boom, 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 and boom, there we go. Easy peasy. Real quick, real quick, I gotta let y'all know, this dude, <laughs> He is a troll. I'm gonna show you all, but don't ever use this man's house. It's kind of funny sometimes, but other times it's not funny when I'm like in a rush. He, uh, he'll he troll you. You have to run through his whole house to get somewhere. And he thinks it's fucking hilarious. It kind of is like in his defense, but uh, yeah, this is how you get somewhere. And then you can only go to the West Art Orange portal. How much money he spent on this, I have no clue. 
uh you know all these different portals and he changes his house like every now and again yeah dude this house this dude always gets me i won't be paying attention i'll just click on like the first person and for some reason for some reason he's always kind of near the top but yeah just avoid his house if y'all are doing this but yeah i mean we're slowly checking along we got we're almost almost halfway to all quests completed um but yeah just follow the ultimate quest guide dude you'll get it and you'll get it in no time do that and then once you have quest cape then then you would head for if you want like total completion of the game if you're not just focused on bossing then you would go for all the achievement diaries they give you obviously certain perks once all the achievement diaries are completed then then you head for the combat achievement diaries. These bad boys are take you forever if you're not already a seasoned PVMer. Um, but that's kind of like I would structure how I would. Oh, this is how I. This is how I'm structuring this account. That's how I would set up goals. Obviously, there's money making goals along the way. There's bossing goals, pet goals, whatever, whatever you want to do. RuneScape's awesome, man. You can do whatever you want to do. I should. I should be a salesman. <laughs> I should. I should sell. I should sell RuneScape. That should be my my new job. All right, Archmage. Hello there. I need your help with an incantation. Now you'll help me. Yeah, we're working with your your sworn enemy, but it's okay. Yeah, you're still gonna help me out, right? I know what it is. Eleven. All right, yeah, party. You can get it. All right, all right. So then I'm pretty sure there's just a huge um let's see, a huge cutscene, right? We go back down here and I think it just opens a portal, right? Everybody's ready. Let's, let's do it. I'm ready. This is kind of a cool cinematic. The mini game they released was if you y'all haven't never like watched live streams money doing this they released it was awesome it's it a crazy experience um trying to figure out the game i pretty much spent 10 hours i took off work obviously because uh, I'm, I'm a huge runecrafting fan i've been for three years and uh when i heard there was a mini game i was like oh yeah sign me up and i spent all day figuring it out obviously the video i did on it is pretty good it um Kind of tells you what the mini game's about. It's it's not meta now at all, obviously, because it was a day release. Um, but it still breaks the mini game down pretty good. Um, but now people have been. I know for like a while there was like a um, people like ten people would come in, set the game up, but only three would play, and they would get more XP. The RuneScape community is crazy with what they figure out how to do. Hey, hello. Look at the markings. When does the big dude jump down? Hey there, how are you doing? So is the, are they saying that that's the Stone of Jazz? That's pretty crazy. You may have already explained this, but why no quest, quest over plugin? Are you not on Runelite? So I think they just haven't updated it for this quest yet. Um, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing because obviously, dude, I, I love that quest, uh, the, the quest over plugin. It's just not on there. I don't know why. It's fine. This is an easy peasy quest. No we're space bar and through a lot of this, but I've done it. Three times now because I did it on another alt just to see how Guardian Rift was at the low levels to kind of get the XP rates. I love how these look compared to um, the ones in the Abyss, like how they shine and stuff. The pet though, the pet, I got so many people like mentioning to me about Silent Hill, like the there's like a boss, like a creature in Silent Hill, like the fourth one. And I was like, I, it, it looked familiar to a video game when I was a kid. And then when people mentioned that, I was like, it clicked in my head. I was like, dude, you're so right. It's creepy and cute at the same time. Western provinces or Dragon Slayer 2 first. Been using barrels for my main moneymaker now. So on 75 combat and quest cape is coming. Dragon Slayer 2, brother. That is a, um, gives access to Vorkath way down the road. Gives access to Wrath Runes. Um, it's just a huge quest for unlocks. Humans, I now have the power to close the rift. He's gonna like super beam it. Come on, Mayaha. Boom. Completely closed. And then they come back in like five minutes to end the world. And so pretty much I'm gonna give you all a TLDR. These guys, these these people here, they had to stay here for the next hour long to save the world every time. But yeah, that, that's pretty much the quest. Awesome quest. Um God, the lighting just looks so sick. The way the, the bow glows, the lighting for the portal. Great job, man. Okay. Blah blah blah. Yes, we saved it all. I think she's still alive. Yeah, she got sucked in. <laughs> but there we go. Boom. Temple of the Eye quest is completed at one quest point five. 
thousand room crafting XP. We just get a medium pouch, which is cool. And Temple of the Eye access. So that is 27 room crafting. We're gonna do cosmic runes. Obviously, not gonna be doing it for a while. Um, but yeah, so the next quest up on the list is all uh, the ascent of our Boys, you know, I want to I want to sit down and I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all. Let me, let me sit up and get comfy in this chair because I have <laughs> some thanks to give to you all. You lovely viewers that have been just fucking smashing and clicking and liking the videos. And it's been amazing to see. It's been an amazing journey. I, I've I've made less than I can Google it real quick. I've made less than 20 to 30 videos on YouTube and you guys have absolutely knocked it out of the fucking park. So props to you. Now, YouTube video making has been a more or less amazing journey. I have learned to edit videos. I've made thumbnails. I'm a marketing manager now all at once. And it's been absolutely amazing. And my journey over on Twitch is slowly, slowly blossoming. And we're, we're over at 300 chatties. And if y'all want to join the Chad Nation, then uh, go ahead and hit that follow button and see me over on stream. I do everything live. I play RuneScape live. I die live. And <laughs> we have a good time, man. Tequila and Coca just keeps flowing. So without further ado, I want to thank you all so, so much from the very bottom of my heart for clicking on this video, watching this episode and getting to the next one. This journey is going to be amazing. The account is going to be, I have so many goals for it past the actual goals that I came up with that it should, should be a lot of fun. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. I know it takes a while. I uh, have a full-time job, job, family, bought a new house. So we're doing house projects. I got to mow the fucking grass every couple days, man. You know how it is. So it did take a while for me to get out, but I try to play as much as I can record it. And then obviously edit it in a beautiful fashion for you all. So anyways, just want to come on here. Thank you all. And uh, see you on the next episode.